FMU, you're on the air. Hello. Hello, yes. Yeah, um, so I was doing a little bit of reflecting about uh, you know, the nature of indie music. And, uh, you know, I was thinking to myself, you know, why, do, why, why does all this stuff sound so weak? And, uh, you know, I, I basically came to the conclusion that it's made by weak people. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. They're weak. They're 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 undernourished. Uh, you know, so so they're gonna make weak music. It's it's so simple. Okay. Like, well, what's an example of some weak music? Oh God. Um. Just just you know, if if you had like a like a hat with a bunch of names of indie bands, and you just kind of threw them all in there, you can pick any one out, and then oh, uh, name yeah. one, name one. Oh God! Uh, let's see. Um, well, you're really a great music critic, Eve Ho. This creeps making is a manifesto here. Can't even name one band he's mad at. Great job. Unibomb. It's like the unibombing, right? Kind of like the unibomber. But he's bombing. There's something in there. Someone write that for me. FMU, you're on the air. FMU. Uh, hey, Tom, this is John from Brooklyn. John from Brooklyn. How are you? Doing all right. What's up, John? Um, you're not going to rate beers tonight, I guess, right? No, I'm not. Okay, I have a related topic. Okay. Um, that you might be interested in. No, right. How about the trend of... Women putting mustaches in front of their face with sticks. Have you seen this? Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's just people goofing around. Yeah, I don't know. I was just kind of curious, like, what it's all about. That's that's really my only question. <laughs> oh, boy. Man, this is a bad night. This is a bad night. It's a bad night, man. Bad night, man. FMU, you're on the air. Hey, Tom, it's Tony again. You hung up on me or something like that. What happened? You hung up. <laughs> that will never. <laughs> <laughs> that will never stop being funny. <sighs> oh, who's good here, Mike? Got a lot of show to get to. Getting sidetracked by dum dums. Who's good, Mike? Who? Two? FMU, you're on the air. Oh, Tom. Yes, who's this? Hi, are you an Ed Woods fan by any chance? I am a fan of Ed Woods. Oh, have you uh, been interested in joining the Church of Ed Wood? No. Oh, these guys with that stuff. The Church of Ed Wood. Hey, go... go uh, uh, you know, go feed somebody who's hungry. The Church of Ed... It... Oh, would you be interested in the Church of Ed Wood? Would that uh, interest you? That's what SOPA should be going after. Shutting that down. Shut down anything that says the Church of Ed Wood. Then just go away. If SOPA said that, yeah, we're just going after this uh, Church of Ed Wood, and then we're going to leave everybody can do anything else they want on the Internet. Just nothing about Church of Ed Wood. Okay. I think we can all agree. That sounds like a fair trade-off. You guys can use your iron hammer to smash that. The Church of Ed Wood. What, what are they going to sit around? Uh, uh, Glenn, Glenn or Glenda 316? 
FMU, you're on the air. Uh, hello, my name is Eric from St. Louis. Hey, Eric, how are you? I'm okay. You were mentioning bands we're mad at, and I have a singer-songwriter that I'm mad at. Uh-huh. That would be Jesse J. Uh, have you heard any of her new uh, trash that she's putting out? No, I haven't. Well, good for does you. It, does it sound as bad uh, as your phone? Eve ho. Oh, no. You know, this is podcast culture seeping into an actual classy radio show. Some kid wrote me, eh, I'm starting a podcast next week. Will you be on it? That's all he wrote. I'm doing a podcast next week. You want to be on it? No, no information. Yeah, sure. I got, uh, I'm an adult. Uh, I've nothing better to do with my time than be on a podcast you didn't even tell me the name of. Sure. What do you want, two hours? Ah, oh, great. Because Mo, Jesse J, I don't even, I don't know who Jesse J is. But did you, this, uh, everybody's uh, up in arms about it. Lana Del Rey. It's this, uh, this, uh, you know, talentless woman. Seems nice enough. She's got no talent. So she she bought her way on Saturday Night Live, ultimately, apparently. And she went up and kind of stunk up the place. But look, was she doing anything that Nico didn't do? No. But then everybody's all, all up in arms. The, the worst one was the, the, the Brian Williams. This guy, Brian Williams, the, the newsman, had to, like, uh, weigh in on, on her. Like, a, yeah, Brian Williams. Let me check your iPod out. Can you imagine what's on Brian Williams' iPod? The junk on that thing? What, how, what's the over-under on, on uh, the Tom Waits CDs on Brian Williams' iPod? Paul Simon records, like like late period Paul Simon. I'm a fan of Rhythm of the Saints. I enjoy listening to the Caribbean rhythms with the songsmith Paul Simon singing atop the polyrhythms. It's uh, Brian Williams like has to weigh in and say and say. Uh, She's terrible. And this guy, somebody should finally tell this guy that he's actually not funny. Like he's like, that he's funny for like a news guy. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You sure are funny uh, compared to, you know, yeah, compared to Chuck Scarborough. Yeah, you're a scream, this guy. But it's not funny in real life. Brian Williams. Every he didn't even realize all these shows put him on. They're putting him on as like a like a like they're laughing at him. Like he's like the punchline of it. But he thinks he's in on the joke. He's not in on the joke. Brian Williams. There's only one Brian Williams in my world. The late great Brian Williams, A.K.A. Bison Daley. Sent him a basketball card, sent it back, signed. Thanks, Brian Williams. Nuggets 94. Bring it back, Nuggets 94. This show's got to start Nuggets 94-ing things. Too many Sonics out there. i got to start Nuggetsing people. Time for me to start Nuggetsing people. But this Brian Williams, it's like... It's like uh, He's no different than like a, a like a grandma who curses or something. It's like a novelty act. Oh no, he's funny. No, yeah, he's funny. He's doing he's he's doing an eighth rate David Letterman impression from nineteen eighty four. Like with that my oh my. Can you believe what's going on? Like it Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, you're funny compared to Sue Simmons. Sure. John Rowland. 
You're funny. <laughs> Ernie Anastas, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you're funnier than Ernie Anastas. Harry Smith. Probably not even funny. Uh, Harry Smith is probably funnier than Brian Williams. Sure. Yeah, you're 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 better at cracking wise than John Stossel. But uh, uh, but in real life, he's like he's like he's like a novelty act. It's like the again, he's like he's like a grandma, like the rapping grandma in a thing. He's the funny anchor man. It's a goof. We're all laughing at you. It's like a kid kicking an adult in a movie. That is my favorite thing in any movie, by the way. Seriously, any any form of entertainment that that showcases a child beating up an adult is probably my absolute favorite thing to see. When a kid like kicks an adult in the shin or punches them. I love it. I don't know why. And it never gets tired. There's an episode of Entourage I, I watched knowing that at some point Ari gets punched by a kid in it. I rewatched it on Comedy Central no, waiting for the scene where the kid punches uh, Jeremy Piven. And you know what? It delivered again. It made my day. I love when kids beat up adults. What is that? Because they're nuggetsing them. They're nuggets 94ing these adults. Again, I gotta start nuggets 94ing people. I'm sick of it. I I wonder how many people have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> what it was in 1994, the Nuggets were this basketball team, barely made the playoffs, and then they were matched up against the mighty Seattle. Sonics, who were favored to win it all, but then the Nuggets beat him. The Nuggets beat him. It was amazing. I'm Nuggets '94 here, man. Lafonso Ellis, Mahmoud Abdul Rauf, Brian Williams, Dikembe Mutombo, Brian Ellis. Who else was on that team? Brian Stith. I'm all those dudes. Rolled in one. FMU, you're on the air.